Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Eternal Return Black Survival. Uh, this game is currently in early access, so you don't have a lot of options inside of the game. Uh, it's pretty much like one preset, uh, ultra, high, medium, or low. But I will show you how to make sure that your Windows also is optimized for this game. So first of all, write game mode in your search. And make sure that game mode is at off. I did a test uh, with and without. And I was losing like 2-3% uh, FPS with game mode at on. So make sure that game mode is at off. Also make sure that Xbox game bars at off. It's causing stuttering in the game. And also you will lose a couple of FPS. So this one really important. Make sure it is at off. Make sure also all those capture background recording and recorded audio are at off. And also I recommend to disable all the uh, overlay that you're currently using. So Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, uh, AMD overlay, whatever overlay that you were using. Uh, please re de disable them. Uh, the one that you can use is something like MS Afterburner or software like that to make sure that uh, your um, temperature are good, uh, processor, etc, etc. Another thing that I recommend is write GPU in your graphics setting. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Uh, on my laptop, I was getting like 3 to 4% boost in my FPS. In the, on my desktop, I didn't see any difference. It, it's an INPC and it doesn't make a difference right now. I didn't see an, any game, honestly. It's more like uh, on my laptop, it's a good thing to activate. So put this one at on. You need some recent uh, NVIDIA GPU to make sure that it's running. And I don't think it's currently working for AMD GPUs. So that's about it for that. Uh, two other things that uh, I recommend to do is on, on your uh, graphic setting, go to uh, NVIDIA control panel, will open. Make sure in manage 3D that your power manage mode, management mode, sorry, uh, is that prefer maximum uh, performance, really important. You don't want like some random, uh, like this one adaptative or even the optimal power just go with maximum performance you want like the most fps on your of your rig so this is pretty much it uh, you can press x the uh, last one that uh, i recommend to do is your energy plan on your computer so write energy over here uh, the power sleep setting click on this go to additional power setting and make sure that you're running something like high performance or balance. Don't use the power saver. You will lose a lot of performance because of that. If you have a Ryzen processor, you uh, will have like other choice like uh, Ryzen balance or Ryzen high performance. For me, Ryzen balance is pretty much the, the best one for me. But yeah, you still have two other choice. But go with balance or high performance for Windows if you're playing on the laptop. So this is pretty much it. So now, uh, the last, well, yeah, one more thing, make sure that you update also your driver. A lot of people don't update their graphic driver, so make sure that you have the latest driver for NVIDIA, same thing with AMD. And even if you're playing on the Intel CPU with an integrated graphic card, make sure that you're going on the Intel website and do your driver update. Just don't use the one from the update from Windows. Uh, it's pretty much like just a random, not a random driver, but it's just a flat driver to make sure that your monitor is recognized like your uh, GPU. So make sure that you download the one from Intel. So now we will go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Just open the settings over here. Uh, go to video. And make sure that you're playing your native resolution. So for me, it's 1080p. And also make sure that your Hertz match with your monitor. For me, I have a 144 Hertz uh, screen. So it's a bit weird there saying 143, but it's pretty much the same thing. So if you have like a 60 Hertz screen, with, go with 60 Hertz. Another thing that it's really important is your display mode. I saw a big difference between borderless and full screen. I was losing 3% 3, 3 of my FPS with borderless. So go with full screen, really important. After that, for the graphic, you have four different choice, so this is pretty much it. You don't have like, you can't really change the shadow, lighting, and stuff like that. So, uh, I did a test. Between each bracket, I was getting 3% boost, high to ultra, high to normal, another 3%. And for the normal to low, I was getting 2% boost. And I didn't really like the way the, uh, the my image quality was at low. So honestly, if you're playing on the laptop, just go with normal and you should be fine. If you have like a mid-range computer, you can easily play at high. And if you have like an high-end computer, go with ultra. 
Um, for the V-Sync, it really depends. Do you want tiering? Do you have G-Sync, Free Sync, or whatever? Uh, even if you don't uncheck it, honestly, like you don't really care about input lag in this game. I didn't see a big difference, so you can't use it if you want. Finally, the one more thing that you can use is the FPS cap. Uh, depending on your computer, if you have like good aeration, like um, a good ventilation in your uh, in your desktop, you can easily uh, go with no limit. But and you need to uncheck this for sure, no limit. But if you have like a 60 hertz screen, don't go too crazy and you're playing like on, on the laptop. You don't want to go with no limit because if you generate more FPS, you will generate more heat in your computer. You can have some throttling issue. So your CPU and GPU will start to go lower with their uh, megahertz. And you will have some uh, drop in your FPS, uh, mini lag, stuttering and stuff like that. So make sure that you just lock your FPS with the number of Hertz that you have. So for example, if you have 60 Hertz, go with 60 FPS. If you have 120 Hertz, go with 120 FPS. So this is pretty much it, guys. A uh, small guide for uh, this game. Uh, honestly, it's running really well on any computer. It's not that bad. So uh, just, just follow the guide and you should be fine. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.